We are in my laundry room today decluttering and cleaning things out. I've been doing a whole house like declutter thing. I'm trying to get my whole house done before winter and it's supposed to snow Wednesday and Thursday uh, where I live in Wisconsin and we're getting to that time of year where she's gonna stick and once the snow hits and it sticks everything in my house that's in my house is pretty much gonna be in here all winter long. So this is the one room that I really, really, really wanna get done and I need to stop procrastinating and just do it. It's also a pretty good motivator that today's Monday and I'm hosting Thanksgiving on Thursday and really need to get this thing done. This is the one room in my house that I literally hate. It's my laundry room, but it's also a half bath. It's really awkward. It doesn't make a lot of sense in my opinion to even have a bathroom in here, but I don't know, just the way the house was built. If I had it my way, I would probably just remove the toilet in the sink and keep it a laundry room. That way I can actually have some storage in here. But we also have a cat. The cat litter box is in here. And this room just collects a lot of my husband's crap. Also, because my garage door is right there. And whenever my husband does a project in our house, which is very often, instead of putting his things back in the garage, they seem to end up on display on top of my washer and dryer. I know I'm not the only one who relates to that, but I need to go through this. It's driving me nuts. So let's start. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? No one can save us, save us from keeping clean. I don't wanna lose you. I don't wanna lose you now. Cause there is only that we want to put in our living room but my husband hasn't had time to put in yet we've literally had these for at least three months and they have just continued to sit on top of my washer and I'm gonna put them on my husband's workbench out in the garage because they don't need to be in here anymore <laughs> cleaned out in between the washer and dryer it literally makes me so happy that when I look back there I don't see a ton of crap that has fallen um, between the washer and dryer or like behind it I don't know why it's like equivalent to vacuum lines to me you guys it's 
it just makes me so happy but I cleaned up behind there and it's actually driving me nuts that the washer isn't straight so I can't move it it's too heavy but when my husband gets home he'll straighten it out for me but now this is what I'm keeping from what fell behind the washer we found some sunscreen some tablecloths um this which the girls painted last year so that's cute I'll put that down in the basement with my fall decor um this as well this is just straight water but now I'm going to wipe down the tops and the fronts of my washer and dryer. I'm going to clean like the bathroom portion of things and wrap it all up for you guys. I think that took me like 20 minutes and it was well worth it well worth it I'm so happy that I did it just for right now I laid my rug back down even though it's not clean I'm gonna clean all my rugs when it gets closer to Thanksgiving same with um, scrubbing my floors I didn't mop them because I'm waiting until it's actually a little bit closer to Thanksgiving so but other than that I'm so happy everything's clean I got behind the washer and dryer which I really wanted to do the bathroom portion of this is clean as well, so I'm unbelievably happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you a little bit of motivation to get something done off of your to-do list. I'll link my playlist down below where I've been going through my whole house. It's like a deep cleaning series. That'll be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Doesn't matter.